Thank you, Mr. President. My question is for the Minister for Corrections. Could the Minister please outline the processes and procedures which currently allow biological male criminals who identify as female to be imprisoned in female prisoners? Prisons. Minister. Thank you, uh, President. And thank you, Ms. Uh, Deeming, for that question. I think your long-standing interest uh, on this topic is well publicised. Uh, what I will say is that the policies and procedures in terms of prisoner placements more broadly, um, uh, there's a department, obviously, um, that looks at these matters, and prisoner placements are made in the interest of the individual prisoner, with obviously the safety uh, and security needs of the system as a whole, including the safety of other prisoners is also concerned. So broadly speaking, that's the broad policy. But I don't, that's a decision for Corrections Victoria uh, to make and it's not my place to go into individual prisoner placements. Um, I know the context in which you're asking this question because you've been quite public about it. Um, but what I will say is that as a government, we're, com we're committed to the safety of all prisoners uh, and everyone in our system, including trans prisoners. I think that's important to point out as a government. Uh, we have a number of policies as well for looking for improvements in, in relation to this area. Um, our government's established a transgender diverse and intersex prisoner reference group to monitor issues such as those that uh, you've raised in the past and consider opportunities for system improvements related to the management of transgender diverse and intersex prisoners. And as a government, we're proud to embrace all Victorians. Thank you. Mrs. Deming, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I look forward to hearing about uh, a reference group for women's prison rights, women's prisoner rights. And we all know that being a male at all is a risk and an unacceptable denial of sex-based rights to privacy for female prisoners. And we already know that there is a uh, one twice convicted male rapist in the Dame Phyllis Frost Correctional Centre. Could you please provide an estimate of the total number of biologically male criminals that are currently housed in women's prisons in Victoria? Minister. Thank you, President and uh, uh, Ms Deeming for her supplementary question. Uh, as I stated to my substantive, it's not appropriate for me to go into individual prisoner placements. That's a decision that Corrections Victoria make in line with um, uh, in line with their policies about ensuring the safety of prisoners, the prisoners' own preference uh, for their placement, also other broader considerations as well, the system and, and the safety of other prisoners too. You need to understand that um, there are emerging factors uh, uh, in our prison system, and I think that's why the reference group is, is important. We don't need, it's not appropriate to take just a popular stance on these issues or what you think is a popular stance. I think it's important to take a principled stance. And as a government, we've, we're not going to take a step backwards. We're going to embrace all Victorians, and we're committed to that, and we'll continue to do that work. We've got this reference group, and I look forward to working, I look forward to working with them as well in terms of getting their feedback on these issues, on how we can make improvements in the placement of prisoners. But there are policies in place to ensure the safety of all Victorians, and I'm committed to that. Thank you. Uh, Minister